Hey guys, just a follow-up video on this power case I've been building. Um, I've had it running now for a couple of weeks, um, just powering some small loads around the house. Um, it's going to be very handy when I build my shed, which will be going up soon. I'll probably use it um, a fair bit until I get my main 48 volt system up and running. But I just thought I'd give you a look. Um, as you can see, we've got power to the unit now. Um, <clears throat> I've been charging with a 100 watt panel um, through here. Uh, I've connected, I've got my solar cable, which is about 10 meters long here. Has the um, MC4s here and the Nutric connector on the other end. I've added some LED lights here so there's two here also two on this end so there'll be a switch up here so that when you're carrying the case uh, at night you can just flick these two lights on and you'll have two two lights to light the way here uh, and then these two will be wired separately so just to be little work lights so if you're in a tent or a camper van uh, you've got a bit of light at the front of the unit here. I'll just um, open it up and give you a look inside. So here's a look inside the case guys. Um, I've done a little bit of tidying up with the wiring but it's not 100% there yet. Um, been doing a little bit of cable management. I've got these great little clips. Um, they're double sided tape on one side and you can actually open and close them and they just uh, stick onto the case which is really handy. Um, <clears throat> I have redone the main power cables uh, and put in the daisy chain wires, daisy chain signal wires between the modules and we have um, a fuse and a wire coming out each end which will go to the other module I'll show you that in another video I've added a DC breaker here on the front um, there's the the battery mounted with the mount I showed you in the last video that's worked worked really awesome got the shunt mounted in the back there and the fuse box here which was a really great way to go yeah there we go that's got all individual fuses um, I've got 12 I can do 12 um, circuits out of this board it's got a common positive and negative bus there okay so I've got the <clears throat> the uh, signal wires daisy chained through the modules here I've got 100 milliamp quick blow fuses on either side as you can see there these the ones on the end here you loop them through the hole and solder onto the pad for a bit of um, strain relief on the wire there I've re I've redone the main cables for the terminals with uh, some better lugs and I've added a 50 amp DC breaker here which will mount on the front of the pack like so. Okay guys, catch you on the next one.